Rules of divisibility. 2. When you have to find the factors of a number, it helps to know a little bit of math magic. You may already be a cool math magician and not know it. Check this out. When you look at these numbers, do you know straight away which one has 2 as a factor? Did you pick this one? If you did, great! You are probably already doing the trick. I hope you didn't panic at the size of the numbers because the size doesn't make a bit of difference. No matter the size of the number, we know if a number is divisible by 2 or not by looking at the very last digit. We look at the 1's column here. If you have an even number, then it is divisible by 2. Odd numbers are not. So if your number ends in 2, 4, 6, 8 or 0, you know just from a glance it is divisible by 2. And if a number is divisible by 2, then 2 is a factor. I am going to show you some numbers and you are going to do the trick yourself. You are going to show your teacher whether 2 is a factor or not. Hold up your yes or no answer as soon as you think you know. Your teacher will pause the film until you answer. 7,542 12,871 543,296 298,434 8,765,215 If you answered like this, yes, no, yes, yes, no, you have got it. Well done. If not, do you remember what I said? We just have to check this last digit here, the ones column. If it's an even number, then 2 is a factor. Now, if you are happy doing this math magic trick, it's time to show your teacher on paper. There are two parts to the work. Firstly, the magic part. You will be given a worksheet. Put a check mark beside each number that you think is divisible by 2 without a remainder. Use the trick of glancing at the ones column like we practiced here. Do this part as quickly and carefully as you can and then show your teacher you are done by putting up your hand. When your teacher has checked your magic skills, go ahead and divide by 2.